Welcome back to another Price CP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set our starter character in Roblox. To set a starter character, first you need to have a character. So let's now go and build our character. We're going to go to the plugins menu and we're going to click on build rig. You can select either R15 or R6 is fine, either one. And uh, in this case, I'm going to select an R6 to make it simple. And I'm going to select the block rig. All right, so here I have a dummy added to my workspace. First thing you want to do is go back to home and um, you want to look, you want to expand the dummy, click on the humanoid root part and make sure you unanchor that part. Otherwise your, your character is going to be stuck in the air when you start the game. All right, after you've done that, you can make any changes you like to these parts here. So, for example, I'm going to select the head, the uh, humanoid root part, and the torso. I'm going to go to the properties window, and I'm going to change the shape. So instead of block, I'm going to change them to um, wall. All right, so now my head, my humanoid root part, my humanoid root part, which you cannot see, and my torso, they're all round. And then I'm going to change my arms and legs, so I'm going to select all the limbs and we're going to change them to, instead of block, we're going to change them to cylinders. So now our starter characters are set. Next thing we need to do is we need to rename this, this uh, model to say starter character. And then I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to paste it into the starter player folder, the starter player service. So right click, paste into. Now my starter player service has three things in it. It has the starter character, which is the one we just built. And it also has the starter character scripts and starter player scripts, which we learned in our prior tutorial. All right, so now uh, I believe we're all set. Let's play and take a look. So here is our new starter character, and as you can see, it can walk around. Um, this, there are some steps here. Let me see if it can climb up the steps. And there it goes. It can climb up the steps. I'm going to jump back down. Let's see how, how high we are. I'm going to jump back down. Let me see if it can jump. There it goes. It can jump. And this is a lava pool here. If I jump in here, I'm going to die. And there it is. I'm dead. Here's another lava pool, a different kind. I'm dead again. All right, so if you like to build your own starter character, th that is a very quick and simple way to do it. Um, on the other hand, uh, le let me first get rid of this one. I'm going to delete it. On the other hand, if you don't want to build your own starter character, you can always go to the toolbox and look, look up some free models. So go to the marketplace and search for starter character hit enter and you're gonna see a bunch of them there i'm gonna try and select lego mario click on it click ok and then again you got you want to make sure you, you move this into the starter player service so i'm gonna move it into starter player and let me close this window here and let's play and take a look And here it is, that, that's uh, Lego Mario. And look at the way he walks, it's so cute. He can climb the steps. Wow, he's fast. And I'm gonna see what happened if I, whoa, <laughs> I jump off. See if he's gonna respawn. And he died. And he respawned. If I jump into the lava <coughs> pool, he died and respawned again. We're gonna test one more place. Another lava pool. And there you have it. That's how you change the starter character in your games. And guys, I just want to remind you whenever you use a free model to always remember to check all the scripts inside the model. Make sure they are 
good make sure you're happy with uh, what you see in the scripts so for example in this case we use this uh, Lego Mario right so um, if you look at the, the scripts inside that model I'm gonna go down to the X head uh, model inside that model and go to the screen here that there, there is a script in there rainbow color change if you open that you're gonna see a while true do loop with like all these weight in it and when I see something like this um, I, I really don't know what it's doing and I'm, I would I'm not the developer so I don't know what the developer is trying to do but I I don't like uh, all this weight inside an infinite loop so you know I'm not gonna use this model for my games I would pick a different model for example, this guy above the uh, the school kit, right? This one has zero scripts in it, so I would use this one because because it's safer. So let let me check this one, and I'm gonna throw it inside the starter player, and let's play and take a look. All right, so he doesn't need any script because Roblox is gonna fill in the scripts for us. And if he hits the uh, the lava, he still dies. All right, guys. So that that's just a word of caution. Whenever you use free models, be careful. Take care, and we'll see you again in the next tutorial.